Welcome to the Quakes Post Game Show. Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley, and we'll recap every home game the Quakes have here at Lone Mart Field tonight. Unfortunately, they get the loss 10-5 to to the Modesto Nuts. They do win the series, though, 2-1 to overall, but this one just not in the cards tonight. At the beginning of the game, Adam Bray starting on the hill for the Quakes, ended up lasting five innings. He gave up six runs, five of those earned, and then Zach, it seemed as if every time the offense kind of seemed to muster a rally, it just ended up getting killed. Yeah, the Quakes ended up actually striking first blood here tonight with a run in the bottom half of the first inning, but then Modesto, three runs in the second, three runs in the third. They really blew this game open. As you mentioned, those four runs in the seventh inning, it looked like the Quakes were going to come back in this game. Three more runs in the eighth, though, for Modesto, and the game was essentially over at that point. The offense, it looks like it's taking that kind of hit we thought it would with the departure of three key pieces, Houston L. Diaz, Drew Jackson, and Johan Mieses, but still a lot of good talent here on this squad. Zach Rex in his first game coming up from Great Lakes, a draft pick this season by the Dodgers in the 10th round out of Kentucky. He went three for four in his first game as a Quake, and he looks to factor in there at the top of the order. A lot of positives to look at from this game. Yeah, Quakes do fall, but so too do the Inland Empire 66ers, so the Quakes still a five-game cushion in the Southern Division, and tomorrow, Michael Boyle going on the hill, starting a four-game series against Lancaster here at home, game four of a seven-game homestand. And Michael Boyle making a spot start. I guess, Zach, you could say he's kind of turned into a starter role as he's needed to step up. Yeah, this is a third start this season. Two previous is kind of a bullpen guy going three innings and then a little bit further as well. But this is an interesting part of the rotation where you have Andrew Thurman and Michael Boyle, both in kind of bullpen roles where you have a lot of guys pitching a lot of innings. So it's going to be interesting to see if the Quakes want to extend them or of course it would be the Dodgers who would do that, or if they want to bring in somebody to be an actual starter in the rotation. But ultimately, this is a big series here against Lancaster. It ends the last seven-game homestand of the season for the Quakes, meaning, of course, we're coming down the stretch. Just 30 games remaining after tonight's loss in the second half, in the season here for the Quakes. So looking to get as many wins as they possibly can. Still the best record in all the California League at this point, both in the second half and overall. The Quakes are 11-11 and against the Jethawks this season, so they've been really pesky, and this is going to be a really fun series. Michael Boyle making his third start of the season against Lancaster tomorrow. Quakes do fall tonight 10 to 5, but take the series over the nuts 2 to 1 overall. Well, we got a 7.05 start time here tomorrow at Lone Mart Field. Hope to see you out here for the Quakes post game show. Sammy O'Brien alongside Zach Bigley, and we'll see you guys again tomorrow.